Hi, I'm Jo at the Mirror Beauty and today let's talk about the NYX Professional Makeup and La Casa de Papel TV show collaboration, also often referred to as NYX and the Money Heist collection. Ah, oh, the collection of missed opportunities, as I call it. <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to spread negativity, I'm not trying to bring the collection down. I actually think the collection is not bad, otherwise there wouldn't have been a makeup haul part to this video. I'm just saying that it would have been so much better had they used all the opportunities that they had right in front of them. And I'm going to talk about them in a moment. So what I mean is that there is some bad news and some good news to this collection. First of all, the big palette. Oh, that's such a disappointment to me. The biggest disappointment of the collection. Where is the bright matte green? Actually, a couple of matte bright greens would have been nice. Where is the black? Where is the black? Just one shade of bright red? No, like there should be at least two. A more orange leaning red and a cooler red. There should be at least two shades of bright orange for the 50 euro banknotes, don't you agree? The shimmers, okay, the shimmers are kind of okay. There is a green shimmer, there are some gold shimmers, which make total sense. I would also add a bright red shimmer, to be honest. And while you're thinking, okay, Jilla, do you just suggest adding a lot more shades to this palette so that it is huge? No, I suggest taking half of the nudes out of there. And hear me out, I know on this channel we love color, but probably you are someone who also loves natural makeup looks, and I know there are a lot of people out there who love them, and that's why the nude palettes sell. But honestly, at this point, it seems to me like NYX could just make, you know, one nude palette, like, the Urban Decay Naked, and just stamp on different pictures in it. So just sign a contract with a TV show, with something else you're collaborating with, and just stamp the picture on it, and this is La Casa de Papel, Money High Spot, this is our summer collection, this is our spring collection, these are winter nudes, these are Christmas nudes, all that. I totally understand a brand, you know, having a nude palette, and also I totally understand having some natural colors in this collection, because yes, we also think a lot of the masks when we think about La Casa de Papel, and they are to depict a human face, so obviously they have this nude color in them, so it makes total sense adding some nudes in there also, you know, to complement the bright colors, to make transition shades. I completely understand that, especially seeing that it is a big palette. However, there are too many nudes and too few bright colors that would have made sense for this collaboration. And also if you're the type of person who loves nude colors and would go for that, I think you already bought your palette in one of the previous collections and most likely you haven't used it up in a couple of months, right? Now to the small palette. Finally, finally bright reds. A lot and a lot of bright reds. But here I just feel like... Mm, it's a bit too red, so like it's only for the red-based looks, which is probably not bad, but then again it would make sense to me if they created two small palettes, like a red-based one and a green-based one. All would have made this a little bit less red and a little bit more green. I would opt for the two palettes, frankly. The lipsticks are cute, the Nairobi shade I think fits her very well, and the Tokyo shade, which is a bold red, well, it's kind of a shade that you probably already have, it's just a bright red, but in the limited packaging it's kind of cute, but why not throw in a funky money green, hmm? They even have the suede matte lipstick called Shake That Money, I don't have it, but I have a matte lip liner, and look at this color! It was just meant to be for this collection! Approximately the color that I have on my lips right now, let me just show you the products I created this look with, and the colors that I would love to have seen in the big palette, but that weren't there. Before we forget about the lipsticks, these were the ones I used, Sugar Pearl Dropout and Teacher's Pet, and yes, an orange lipstick would totally also make sense for this collection. So, this <laughs> part right here is what I used for my look, so that's what I mean, two different reds two different oranges, and then the yellow I used it to top the green to get the shade that I wanted. I'll show you the green in a moment. This was the Jawbreaker and the Sugar Pearl Fun Size palette, and the next palette I used is from Sydney Grace and Tiptalia. I have reviewed it on my channel, and I used this emerald shade right here, which I topped with matte yellow on my lower lid, and I used this gold. But you cannot create this look using the NYX La Casa de Papel palettes, because at minimum you will lack the green. Now for the rest of the collection, the brush and the liner, well, they're basic, actually, they're the things that they had before, they're just in new packaging, so I guess if you're a fan of the TV show, why not, they're cute, nothing too special. Same goes for the mirror, I think it's good, it's pretty, if you really want to have it for the collection, why not. And now let's go to the items which I think were fabulous in this collection, and these were, first of all, the highlighters, mm, the packaging is just boom. 
So it's a gold bar from the TV show and you know with the like I said the papel mask on it so it makes perfect sense and the colors the rose gold and the golden gold are also the ones you would expect to find and the eyeliners I think they did a great job with the eyeliners this really fits the theme they have the black they have the green they have the red they have the nude and they also have a light blue well why not it makes a nice addition out of these i purchased the green and the red i did not purchase the black because i already have a nyx epic wear eyeliner stick in black the eyeliner stick that i have is matte the one they have it has some shimmer to it which is neither good nor bad just depending on what you prefer i actually prefer my matte one so i didn't get the metallized shimmery one and the green and red are the liners that i used for today's eye look and they worked perfectly you can see their application they're very pigmented they're really smooth, they also glide well on the waterline, so what else can you wish for? But let's also swatch them on the hand to see the pigmentation. Really, really pigmented. This is kind of an orange-based red, very bright and vibrant matte. And this is the money green that I would also love to see in the lipstick very color true. I have to mention that the Epic Wear eyeliner sticks in general last well on oily lids and they also last quite well on the waterline, but let's test those babies. Are they smudge proof? Are they waterproof? Smudge test. No budging. Let's pour some water on them now. Waterproof or not? They aren't going anywhere. Finally, let's try to smudge them while my hand is still wet. Huh? Perfect. Oh, they're good, but how do I sharpen them? If that's what you think, I have a video telling you everything about it linked in the description box. And if you're also following some other popular TV shows, like, I don't know, for example, The Squid Game, then check out this video. It will be boom. And I'll see you there. Bye!